In today's mental health check, there's a new financial trend among Gen Z and millennials, and it's called doom spending. And if you think it sounds ominous, it kind of is. Many young people say that they feel discouraged about the economy, and that is leading them to reach for their wallets. Implies something. Doom spending implies something negative, and it sort of is. Basically, it's this term that financial experts are using to describe people who are shopping to cope with their stress about the larger economy. Here with us now, editor in chief of Investopedia, Caleb Silver, and alongside him, family psychologist Dr. Jennifer Hartstein with us as well. Thank you guys for being here. Um, so, okay, let's start with Caleb. What is going on with the economy that is leading young people to feel so kind of desperate to spend? Yeah, this feeling that they just don't have a foothold in it and can't get a foothold in it. It's really called mindless shopping to sell soothe because you feel pessimistic about the economy and about your future. We know that so many young people feel that they're not to have a better life than their parents and that the chips are stacked against them. Our term of the year last year was the American dream because so many people were searching for it because they think they've lost touch with what that could be, the ability to afford a home, take a right. vacation, raise a family. Costs keep rising and younger people feel like they're never going to be able to get on top of that and live the life they want. And Caleb, I heard you say self-soothed. Jennifer, I want to bring you in because a lot of young people are saying, oh, this is self-care. And I think of Gen Z millennials, you know, they've been through COVID. A lot of them are viewing it that way. Sure. But is it medically speaking? Um, yes, and it's not a great long-term solution. I mean, it is it is a great short-term solution to that momentary anxiety, right? But it does not set you up for any sort of long-term term success. So does it work? For sure. If it didn't work, we wouldn't keep doing it. But it's not a great strategy if you want to kind of build towards your future and actually be able to get some of these things you want in the long term. Mm. Yeah, Caleb, what are, what are young people spending their money on in general? And, and does it impact, I mean, it has to impact their finances long term. Absolutely, and it's discretionary spending, but it's clothing, right? It's things that they see online. And a lot of this comes from doom scrolling, which leads to doom spending. The more you scroll, the more bad news you see. You see something you like, it happens to me all the time. They throw me a skateboard because mm -hmm. they know I love it. And guess what? Now I have 10 skateboards, but it's not <laughs> just me it's the fact that you're seeing so much bad news when you see something you like you're more apt to want to go for it to make yourself feel better and if you're in a financial whirlpool then you're like i can't get out i'm just going to keep spending because i'll never get out it's just this feeling right. like doomsday i can't get on top of this well and it's the dopamine hit right i mean we had to think about why does it make us feel good well i have this hit of dopamine we know that dopamine is the feel good hormone it's the neurotransmitter that makes us do more things which is part of what keeps us in the doom scrolling cycle yeah and so that hit keeps us kind of buying and going on and then here we are like in this awful cycle so how do we control that especially since so many people do it maybe as a form of control right well first of all we got to get off social media and put our phones down right which most of us don't really want to do or think about that but I think there are some really concrete things we can think about like what's your budget create a structure for yourself what other outlets might you actually have to take care of your mental health right can you exercise can you move your body can you be with friends what other things can you do things that don't cost money things that don't well and if they cost money at least they're like if you're not just Mm. buying discretionary kind of clothes that you wear for a season and then you throw away. Like if I'm gonna go invest in a dinner with my friends, there's multiple levels of things that that is gonna give back to me that builds up for the long term. Yep. Taylor, build on that. What else would you say yeah. financially speaking? Sure, in-person purchases. When you actually have to go exchange money for an item, it feels very different than clicking online or just using the cash app or any instant money transfer to do that. Actually using currency, you know that feeling when you break a $50 bill or yeah. a $20 bill, mm -hmm. that's a very different feeling, but also creating- So that's a tip, like you- Cash, yeah. Use cash, make your purchases in person, do your research online if you want, but also creating a budget with alerts that automatically hit you every time you're going out of budget or out of range, and then reward yourself. And sometimes do a little austerity, make a non-spending week, uh, just to make see, see if you can do it, and then reward yourself at the end of it with something smaller, not necessarily an impulse purchase. You're not paying yourself in the future mm -hmm. when you're making these types of purchases. Briefly, I'll say as a recovering zillennial doom spender, uh, is there ever a good time is it ever okay to just like shop a little? Sure, I think there's an important thing. Like one of the things that I do is I'm like, if I can't stop thinking about it, then it's something I wanna buy. I think the key is blocking that I feel I do moment and hitting a moment of pause and taking a second and then realizing if it's something you really want and if it's bringing you joy, sure, why not? I love it and it's a message for everyone because a lot of men are actually the ones doing the doom spending too, mm -hmm. just, to, just to yeah. mention. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just found that. It's really interesting though. Caleb Silver, Jen Hartstein, thank you both, appreciate it. There's much more news ahead. You're watching NBC News Daily.